In this tutorial, we're going to show how you can take a graphic and add it to an output reel. You can create your graphic really on any uh, machine, any PC, any device. Uh, I just want to make sure it's the same resolution as your video that you're uh, using. And uh, then you can actually edit that in uh, as you would any of the videos. So in this case, what I did is I just simply created an image uh, using paint, uh, which is actually on the V-Station. Uh, created a 1920 by 1080 uh, area, filled it in with uh, a color, in this case blue, and then just uh, typed in, uh, shows a font and uh, uh, size, and just typed it in. So once I have the graphic, I can just simply uh, bring that into um, uh, this, the viewer, the, paint, the um, Windows picture viewer, and then to have it uh, display it in full screen, like that. So now uh, I actually have that. Uh, so the key now is to record it. So uh, in order to do this, you actually have to take the output of the V-Station and uh, instead of going directly to the system monitor, split it off. One goes to the system monitor and the other will go back into one of the V-Station channels. In this case, I'm putting this into channel 4, as you can see here on the uh, previous screen. So I now actually am recording channel 4. So when I bring up the full screen, when I go to the full image, you'll see this on, you won't actually see it now, but it actually will appear in the preview monitor and be recorded that way. So once I have that and I've recorded it, I will stop my recording and then I will have access to that image. So uh, the next step is to go back and to go into multi-view. So I'm going to bring up multi-view and I'm going to bring up a, a project where I want to actually uh, add that image. So let's pick, uh, I think I have, I'll just use one of the, uh, actually the tutorial that I'm actually creating for this. Uh, let me see here. I can find the one the title tutorial there we go so I picked a this is a project that we had before uh, it was a meeting and now I want to add a title to it so uh, I can pick up the uh, title first of all from uh, the uh, recording that I just did so uh, it probably would be in my playlist so I can pick up something from the playlist and it was camera 4 so uh, I think I had done this a few times in the process here. So uh, let me just pick up and see if this is the one here. So I'm bringing up the title in as one of my video sources. And um, we can click on it. And let's see if that's the one that uh, had the title in it. So you can see that was the recording of the screen. So that obviously wasn't it. So I'm going to remove that one. And let's pick up another one here. I think it was, um, try that one here. And play that off a little bit. So basically I'm looking for that segment uh, in, the, in the video where we actually put it up to full screen. Of course, that wasn't it either. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we put it up. So at this point, what we can do is we can actually use this segment. Let me pull it up here. There we go. Okay, so that segment we can actually mark as a, a point in time. So I'm going to just say create, you know, graphic. creation and uh, set that as an endpoint and then we can play it for maybe I'd recommend maybe for around five seconds or so set that as an out point that way we have the graphic and I simply just make a quick movie of that graphic and now I have the edited version of the graphic so once what I suggest is you can make several 
you can put all the graphics maybe in, into one file related to that project and then you can actually then make these uh, segments of them. So now the segments there, I don't need this part so I'm going to remove this by right clicking and taking it out and then I'm going to take, this is now an output reel so I have the graphic here so now my graphic is actually part of the clips that I can put in. So there we go. So now I have a graphic to work with. So I can actually then pick my output reel from this project here. So uh, this is actually a different, uh, since I have my own title project, uh, I actually have to pick this up from the, from the project that it was in initially. So that was in, uh, normally you wouldn't have to do this because once you've created your titles, you can go back and, and put them into the projects they're associated with. So uh, let's go here to the, um, um, and pick out so that is actually my edited reel. So I've got not only my original raw uh, footage here, but I have my edited reel. So if I click on that, I can play that. So what I want to do now is I want to put this in. I have either, if th this is my original edit list that would be here, but I also have the output reel. So instead of remaking the entire uh, edit list, what I can do is I can actually uh, bring a, a new, create a new title here. Let's call this the uh, the uh, meeting ETP, I'm sorry, uh, VMI meeting and now we have with a title. Okay. And so just like before, if I'm going to edit, I just bring, I'll just start off with the um, title. And I'm going to just simply uh, set an endpoint. And we maybe want the title to go for about five seconds. And then we set the out point, add the title. Now we bring in the original VStation. We're going to start the original video that we made. So I'm going to go ahead and hit in. And then we'll go all the way to the out point because we want the full video. Set the out point and hit add. And now I actually have the title here. And then I have my output reel. Okay. So I'm just going to make a movie of that. So now we'll see the title coming up and then starting the movie. And I can add a title to the end. I could add a title, a, a graphic in the middle, and so forth. And uh, this is how you would create a uh, graphic and how you would add it to a VStation project. Simple as that.